bar. So I got this a little while ago and I haven't had a chance to test this thing out, but now that I'm actually holding this, this thing feels real nice. It's a loud bird. The story is I ordered three 28 inch chains off Amazon, of course, and they shipped me three 24 inch chains. Instead of attempting to return them, I figured at some point I would get these anyways. So I'm gonna put this bar on uh, this afternoon. Should be a little bit uh, lighter and have a little bit more power. This bar feels real nice, so. This is the test, right? Just to see how sharp it is. Do I cut myself? No, I'm just kidding, I shouldn't do that. Uh, this is one of my least favorite things right here. I'm definitely gonna grab gloves. These chains can sometimes be not fun to deal with. I'm gonna go ahead and just put this in the oil here and cover that up. All right. I'm just gonna let my uh, chain sit in oil for about an hour here. So it is now the afternoon and I saw there was a little bit of a mess here. Usually the oil, the bar oil and sawdust can kind of build up. So let's clean this out. Some road work going on behind me. They're repaving the street, which is nice, but man, it smells. I can smell the tar from here. Now I got to get this chain <laughs> unstuck. Give me a minute. Now I've got my shiny new bar, 24 inch X Tough Light. This is exciting. This is a new bar and a new chain. Nothing more exciting than that, I think. But I am, I guess I'm containing my excitement. <laughs> Here we go. And we're in. It's moving. Thanks for watching. All right, so we got the 24 inch bar on there with a new chain. Nothing feels better than that. Quite a few deer sneaking through. One of them's got antlers. All right. One thing about a diesel engine is that if you do not keep it filled with diesel, condensation can build up, water can accumulate. And this right here is your fuel water separator. And you can see that ring, it's just a piece of plastic, but it tends to, um, push up when water builds at the bottom. So this is telling me there's water in there. And right now, I'm gonna go ahead and just empty that out. And I can do that by simply just turning this right here to loosen it. See right here, it's uh, it's not all diesel. Run the tractor uh, fuel pump. That's gonna uh, fill that back up. I didn't really uh, empty too much out of there. Let that run for a minute, and then the next time I start it, it should start right up. So trust me when I say I really didn't want to cut those branches, but this uh, beach does have beach leaf disease and unfortunately I think um, 
these trees are probably going to be dying out soon. Uh, I'm going to do all that I can to protect them, but they recommend cutting the lower branches off anyways. And since I keep hitting my head on it and it's good for the tree, um, yeah, got to do it. All right, this thing's probably good. try to just saw it right here take that as a saw log it's not the best but uh, relatively straight has enough diameter to maybe get a beam or something out of it this is all clearly firewood it's just too straggly so I thought it'd be cool to just take the rope off like right here and then I'll swing around with the tractor I'll come in where the Ranger is gotta move that out of the way and then uh, I'll lift this thing up with the grapple and then that should actually make sawing this pretty simple 